Uh, in this video, we will see how to create a new EC2 instance from AWS Management Console. So let's get started. Uh, first, go to I mean, aws.amazon.com. So in the earlier video, we already created uh, one new account, brand new account. Now, by using that account now, I just wanted to create my EC2 instance now. Sign into the console. Enter your password. If you go to services, you can see a lots of services offered by uh, AWS. From this, I'm going to select the EC2 from compute options. Currently, there are no running instances here. So I just want to create one running instance. Click on launch instance. There are various versions here. Uh, Amazon Linux 2 AMI, Linux AMI, Red Hat, SUS, Ubuntu and windows also so out of this we try two instances either a linux instance amazon linux instance as well as a microsoft server 2019 we try these two but however i do this in a separate video but for this video i just wanted to i'm just going to launch this amazon linux to ami select there is a general purpose t2 micro option there are lots of instance types here like micro instances general purpose compute optimized right yeah fpga instances gpu instances etc etc we'll discuss about uh, each and every uh, instance in detail late, in later classes but for now i'm selecting this micro instance general purpose make sure you, i'm in the north virginia region please select your reason before uh, going to launch your instance because each and every reason have its own uh, set of interfaces that means if you click on north virginia you can see your instances but if you select some some of the instances from ohio the ohio instances won't be shown in the north virginia please make this point remember now i'm selecting this general purpose t2 micro configure instance details i'm not changing any of this i'm keeping as usual add storage by default linux instance is required 8 gb but for windows operating system a minimum 30 gb is required for the management now add tags this tax are really helpful to identify the types of instances. I mean, for example, you're working for a company one, you are working for another company two. So if you want to filter uh, the instances that belongs to company one, here the tax plays a vital role. Name programming nine, for example, I'm giving programming nine instance one. I'm giving this value now, configure security group. Security groups are really important to identify who is uh, what is the incoming traffic and what is the outgoing traffic. So for this, we must have to clearly mention the required incoming port numbers and incoming type of traffic. So in this case, I am selecting a new uh, security group for this. So programming nine security group I am creating specially for this description. Uh, description you can write anything that should be identified your uh, security group. In this case, SSH is compulsory. SSH uh, port number is 22. Apart from that, if I want to install any new web servers, it, it should allow HTTP traffic. That's why I'm going to add HTTP traffic here. There are lots of options here. Uh, we'll use uh, many of the options in future classes. But for this class, I'm just selecting this HTTP traffic. It should allow 80 incoming port number. Here you have two options. This option indicates the IPv4. This option indicates the IPv6. There are two versions of IPs. IPv4, IPv6. Right. Review and launch. Right. Click on launch. It is asking for uh, key pairs. I just want to create a new key pair because I don't have, I haven't created any key pair till now. So I want to create a new key pair with the name of programming line download key pair you should save this file in some location 
it is required for us uh, for my case I'm selecting AWS classes save here just select it so go and check it out AWS classes how it was saved programming 9.pem PEM file will be saved programming 9.pem now click on launch instance right view instances it may take some time right if you observe clearly here there are some options a few of the options here like public dns that is this is called the public dns address public ip address apart from that there is some private type is uh, vpc ids subnet ids we will create everything whenever discussing about the vpc but don't worry now it takes some time to load the instance it is running now status is initializing can see lots of options here right in the meantime we need one uh, software to connect to this instance because this is running in Linux so we have to download the putty putty.org is the website the stripe it here and you can simply download it here click on download you can select the 32 bit version of putty or 64 bit version of putty in my computer i already installed it but so i'm not installing it so it is simple next 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 process of installation so just select the 64 bit if you want to install it my computer is 64 bit so i'm just selecting the 64 bit uh, putty installer Right, it's simple next 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 process so i'm not selecting i'm not installing it now so i'm just uh, closing it so i'm just wanted to type it so i just want to type it here with the name for the putty sorry when you install putty you can see two options putty and putty zen so initially we have seen the file extension from aws that is called pem but putty supports only ppk so that's why we need to convert from ptm format to ppk format so we need to select the putty zen now and um, click on conversions import key select that pem file click on open don't uh, click on any of the options like generate load and everything just uh, need to save private key here it is asking for a password key key fast press for the security but i'm not entering here because in future if you forget that there will be a problem again so that's why i'm not giving that key fast press but if you want high security if you're running high security instances it's better to create your own key phrases click on yes now it is asking to give i'm giving the same name ppk file will automatically be added to it so click on save that's it so if i go over there i can see programming 9 it's a putty private key file we know we don't need this putty key generator now we need putty again click on putty right here the host name port number right a few of the details are important here so here the host name or ip address in this case he is supposed to use either public dns or ipv4 for my simplicity I'm using this a public dns address i'm opening my putty now by default amazon linux instance username is ec2 hyphen user at the rate the host name here i have taken the host name port number by default it is 22 now go to ssh authentication in the authentication we can see the browse option here click on browse select the ppk file that you created so select that ppk file see here and click on ok now it is done try to open this file now click on yes that's done you successfully connected to your instance now 
from here you can create your web server from there you can host your websites in the next video we will see how to create windows instance and try to uh, connect using rdp thank you